My beloved child, I am overjoyed to see the progress you have made and how you are doing better than before. My heart swells with love and pride as I watch you grow, learn, and overcome the challenges you have faced. Know that I am always with you, guiding your steps and lighting your path. While I rejoice in your current victories, I want you to understand that even greater blessings await you. Much better days are on the horizon, days filled with purpose, joy, and abundant life. I have plans for you, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. Trust in my timing, for I make all things beautiful in their time. Remember, my precious one, that all things work together for the good of those who love me. Every experience, every trial, every triumph, I weave them all together into a tapestry of grace and redemption. Nothing in your life is wasted when you place it in my hands. Even in your darkest moments, I am working behind the scenes, orchestrating circumstances for your benefit and for my glory. Your faith in me brings me great delight. Continue to trust in my plan for your life, even when you cannot see the full picture. My thoughts are higher than your thoughts, and my ways higher than your ways. What may seem confusing or difficult now will one day be revealed as a crucial part of your journey. As you move forward, do so with unwavering hope and steadfast faith. Hope in me is never misplaced, for I am faithful to fulfill every promise I have made. Let your faith be the anchor for your soul, keeping you steady amidst life's storms. Remember that faith as small as a mustard seed can move mountains, so nurture your faith, let it grow, and watch as I work miracles in your life. My beloved, I want you to know that I see every tear you cry, every silent prayer you utter, and every act of obedience you perform. Nothing escapes my notice. I bottle your tears and record your sorrows, but I also rejoice over you with singing and delight in every step you take towards me. In the moments when you feel weak, remember that my strength is made perfect in your weakness. Lean on me, draw from my infinite power, and you will find yourself able to do far more than you ever thought possible. For it is not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit that you will accomplish great things. As you continue on this journey of faith, know that I am molding you, shaping you into the image of my Son. Every trial you face is an opportunity for growth, every challenge a chance to develop perseverance. Do not be discouraged by the process, for I am the master potter, and you are my masterpiece in progress. Take heart, my child, for the best is yet to come. The plans I have for you are far greater than anything you could ask or imagine. Keep your eyes fixed on me, the author and perfecter of your faith. As you do, you will find strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow. Remember that my love for you is unchanging and unending. Nothing can separate you from my love, not height nor depth, not angels nor demons, not the present nor the future. My love for you is the foundation upon which you can build your life with confidence. As you walk through each day, be mindful of my presence. I am with you always, in every moment and every breath. Seek me in the quiet moments of your day, Listen for my voice in the stillness of your heart. I long to commune with you, to guide you, to shower you with my love and wisdom. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to me. My peace, which transcends all understanding, will guard your heart and your mind. Trust in my provision, for I know your needs before you even ask, and it is my good pleasure to give you the kingdom. As you continue to grow in faith and in the knowledge of my love, remember to extend that love to others. Let my light shine through you, touching the lives of those around you. Be my hands and feet in this world, showing compassion, kindness, and grace to all you meet. In doing so, you not only bless others but also draw closer to me if you want God's grace always upon you. Then please consider to support our ministry by clicking thanks button, my child, 
I want you to understand that your identity is not found in your accomplishments or failures, but in me. You are my beloved, fearfully and wonderfully made, created in my image with a unique purpose. Embrace who I have created you to be, and walk confidently in the calling I have placed on your life. As you face challenges and obstacles, remember that you are more than a conqueror through me. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, for I am your shield and your fortress. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep over you. When you walk through the fire, you will not be burned. The flames will not set you ablaze. Keep your heart and mind focused on things above, not on earthly things. Set your affections on the eternal, for this world and its desires pass away. But whoever does my will stands forever. Store up for yourself treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. My beloved, as you continue to walk in faith, remember that your journey is not just about reaching a destination, but about who you become along the way. Each step of obedience, each act of faith, each moment of surrender shapes you more into the likeness of my Son. Embrace the process, for I am doing a new thing in you. Do not grow weary in doing good, for at the proper time you will reap a harvest if you do not give up. Your labor in me is never in vain, even when you cannot see the fruits of your efforts. Trust that I am working all things together for your good and for my glory. Remember, my child, that I have given you a spirit of power, love, and self-discipline. You are equipped with everything you need for life and godliness through your knowledge of me. Draw upon these gifts daily, allowing my spirit to empower you to live a life that honors me and blesses others. As you move forward, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify me. You are the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Do not hide the gift I have placed within you, but use it boldly to bring hope and healing to a broken world. My beloved, I want you to know that your prayers are powerful and effective. When you pray according to my will, mountains move, hearts change, and circumstances shift. Never underestimate the power of coming before my throne with your petitions and intercessions. I am a God who hears and answers prayer. In times of uncertainty, remember that I hold the future in my hands. Nothing takes me by surprise, and I have already gone before you to prepare the way. Trust in my sovereign control knowing that I work all things according to the counsel of my will. As you grow in your faith, seek to develop a deeper knowledge of me through my word. Let the scriptures be a lamp to your feet and a light to your path. Meditate on my truths day and night, allowing them to transform your mind and shape your worldview. The more you know me through my word, the more you will trust me in every area of your life. My child, I want you to live a life of worship not just in song, but in every aspect of your daily life. Let your work, your relationships, your thoughts, and your actions all be an offering of praise to me. As you do this, you will find joy and fulfillment beyond measure. Remember that I have called you to be part of a community of believers. Do not neglect meeting together with others, but encourage one another and build each other up. In the body of Christ, you will find support, accountability, and opportunities to use your gifts to serve others. As you continue to walk with me, be open to my guidance and direction. Sometimes I may lead you down unexpected paths or call you to step out in faith into unfamiliar territory. Trust that I go before you and that my plans for you are good. Be willing to say yes to my promptings, even when they don't make sense from a human perspective. Feel free to share this video with up to three people if you feel the need for God's presence. Let others too bask in the divine light of our Heavenly Father. My beloved, I want you to know that your past does not define you. Whatever mistakes you have made, whatever sins you have committed, I have forgiven them and removed them as far as the East is from the West. Do not let shame or guilt hold you back, but walk in the freedom and grace I have given you. As you move forward, Cultivate a heart of gratitude. In all circumstances, give thanks. 
for this is my will for you. A grateful heart opens the door to greater blessings and deeper intimacy with me. Take time each day to count your blessings and praise me for my goodness in your life. Remember, my child, that you are in a spiritual battle. Put on the full armor I have provided for you, the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is my word. Stand firm against the schemes of the enemy, knowing that the one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. As you grow in your faith, seek to develop the fruit of my Spirit in your life, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These qualities reflect my character and will draw others to me through you. My beloved, I want you to live with eternity in mind. This world is not your permanent home. You are just passing through. Set your mind on things above, storing up treasures in heaven rather than on earth. Live each day in light of eternity, making choices that will have lasting impact for my kingdom. Remember that I have given you unique gifts and talents to be used for my glory and the benefit of others. Do not bury these gifts, but develop them and use them faithfully. As you serve others with your gifts, you will find fulfillment and purpose, and my joy will be your strength. As you face decisions, big and small, seek my wisdom. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask me, and I will give it generously without finding fault. Trust in me with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to me, and I will make your path straight. My child, I want you to know that I delight in you. When you come to me in prayer, I listen with joy. When you worship me, my heart rejoices. When you obey my commands, it brings me pleasure. You are my treasured possession, and I take great delight in you. As you continue on your journey of faith, remember that growth often comes through challenges. Do not be surprised by the trials you face, but rejoice in them, knowing that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. My beloved, I want you to live a life of integrity, being the same person in private as you are in public. Let your yes be yes and your no be no. Be honest in your dealings with others and let your conduct be above reproach. As you do this, you will be a powerful witness to my truth and grace. Remember that forgiveness is not optional for my children. As I have forgiven you, so you must forgive others. Do not let bitterness or resentment take root in your heart, but be quick to forgive, even when it's difficult. As you forgive others, you will experience the freedom and healing that comes from letting go. As you grow in your relationship with me, seek to develop a deeper prayer life. Prayer is not just about asking for things, but about communing with me, listening to my voice, and aligning your heart with mine. Make time for solitude and silence, where you can hear my still, small voice speaking to your heart. My child, I want you to know that your identity is secure in me. You are not defined by your accomplishments, your failures, your relationships, or your possessions. You are my beloved child, adopted into my family, co-heir with Christ. Let this truth shape how you see yourself and how you live your life. As you move forward, remember that comparison is the thief of joy. Do not compare your journey to others, for I have a unique path for each of my children. Celebrate the successes of others and be content with where I have placed you, knowing that I am working all things together for your good. Type Amen in the comments and don't forget to share this message with up to three people so that God can help you. My beloved, I want you to live a life of generosity as you have freely received or freely give. Be generous with your time your talents, and your resources. As you give sacrificially, 
You reflect my heart and open yourself up to receive even greater blessings. Remember that holiness is not about perfection, but about progress. My command to be holy as I am holy is an invitation to continual growth and transformation. Do not be discouraged by your shortcomings, but keep pressing on towards the goal of becoming more like Christ each day. As you face temptations, remember that I always provide a way out. No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. I am faithful. I will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, I will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. My child, I want you to know that your prayers have power. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective. Do not grow weary in prayer, but persist in bringing your requests before me. Even when you don't see immediate results, trust that I am working behind the scenes in response to your prayers. As you continue in your faith journey, remember the importance of fellowship with other believers. Iron sharpens iron, and one person sharpens another. Surround yourself with those who will encourage you in your faith, challenge you to grow, and support you in times of need. My beloved, I want you to live a life of purpose. You were created for good works, which I prepared in advance for you to do. Seek my guidance in discovering and fulfilling your purpose. As you align your life with my will, you will experience the joy and fulfillment that comes from living out your divine calling. Remember that my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. When you feel inadequate or overwhelmed, lean into my strength. Let my power work through your weakness, for when you are weak, wow, then you are strong. As you grow in your understanding of my love, let it overflow to those around you. Love your neighbor as yourself. Show kindness to the stranger, compassion to the hurting, and grace to those who have wronged you. In doing so, you reflect my character and draw others to me. My child, I want you to know that I am always working. Even when you can't see it, trust in my timing and my methods. What may seem like a setback or delay from your perspective may be a crucial part of my perfect plan for your life. As you face trials and tribulations, remember that they are temporary. This too shall pass. Fix your eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Your present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in you. My beloved, I want you to live a life of balance. Work diligently, but also rest in my presence. Strive for excellence, but don't fall into perfectionism. Be serious about your faith, but don't forget to experience the joy and laughter I have given you. Remember that your body is a temple of my Holy Spirit. Honor me with your body by taking care of your physical health. Make wise choices in what you eat, how you exercise, and how you rest. As you steward your physical body well, you will be better equipped to serve me and others. If you believe that God will help you, please subscribe to the channel. As you grow in your faith, be open to correction and rebuke. My discipline comes from my love for you. No discipline seems pleasant at the time, but painful. Later on, however, it produces a harvest of righteousness and peace for those who have been trained by it. My child, I want you to know that I am interested in every detail of your life. Nothing is too small or insignificant to bring before me. Share your joys, your sorrows, your hopes, and your fears with me. I am a God who is near, not far off. As you continue on your journey, remember the power of your words. Speak life, not death. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Use your words to encourage, uplift, and bring healing to those around you. My beloved, I want you to live a life of courage. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. Be strong and courageous, for I will never leave you nor forsake you. When I call you to step out in faith, 
Trust that I will equip you and empower you for the task at hand. Remember that true success is not measured by worldly standards, but by faithfulness to my calling on your life. Seek first my kingdom and my righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Store up for yourself treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. As you grow in your understanding of my grace, extend that same grace to yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself when you fall short. My mercies are new every morning. Pick yourself up, receive my forgiveness, and keep moving forward. My child, I want you to know that I am always ready to listen. You don't need fancy words or eloquent prayers to approach me. Come as you are, with honesty and sincerity. Pour out your heart to me, for I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. As you face decisions, big and small, seek my will through prayer, my word, wise counsel, and the peace I give, uh, trust in me with all your heart. Amen.